So a couple of announcements. Um, announcement number one is uh, the next time, we- Dia. <laughs> <laughs> Calm yourself. Um, Iago. <laughs> oh, was those Iago? No, that's just oh. I can't. That's the sentence, and I can't ever get away from it. <laughs> from um, Aladdin. So uh, there's something I've realized. We are leveling way too quickly, and we're leveling way too quickly because our sessions are averaging uh, like an hour and a half long. Um, and uh, I, after we level up one more time, we're going to change it from three sessions to five sessions per level. Um, that way we're not uh, leveling up so fast that we can't uh, even get used to what we just added uh, to fully understand what more we, we need to do. So Yeah, I like it. Because um, I, I don't... I frequently don't use new abilities because it's too hard to remember what they do. So again, yeah, cool. So again, we'll, le- we'll level up one more time and then um, I'll change the character sheets to have five checkboxes um, for us to track. Uh, at the same time that we do level up, uh, I also want to give you all the opportunity to... Um, essentially redo your character if you want as long as the archetype's still there. In other words, you're still the same uh, race that you are and so forth. I'm talking about um, redoing your traits if you choose to redo your traits. Uh, if that affects the weapons that you're using, then let's let's work on that. But that's something you're going to have to do on your own time when we get there. I wanted to tell you now so you can start thinking about it right now because we're not doing it until after we level and then after we play that session out. Is that fair? Sounds good. Sounds like something Sounds you all want to do. I mean, you don't have to do it, but is that something, <laughs> something you all want to at least uh, look into or are cool to know that's an option? And this is a one-time Maybe. thing. Maybe. All right. Uh, She's on a random. I'm cool with my character, but I like the idea. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Um, all right, so uh, let's recap. Um, you all uh, just finished, fi- not just finished, sorry. It's been about a little over a week ago, game time. Um, then you guys uh, fought off this bandit group, and uh, uh, what was that dude's name? Uh, Nalgris. Nalgris, yeah. Jerkface. So, yeah, Jerkface. So sure. Nalgris, he uh, decided to get the, to be better than the rest of his uh, uh, troop to just um, leave. <laughs> and he ran. He dropped his uh, heavy shield and ran um, and left his banner behind, too. Uh, so you all um, then promptly uh, left the Archdruid Woods and proceeded uh, uh, south-southeast um, toward Hurstshire. You arrived at Hurstshire, which is what we're looking at right now. Um, but during your trips there, you, you, were, um, uh, you were studying, uh, like Morella uh, was studying a tome from the Albing, a uh, tome of the Albing, so she's been learning more about uh, the all-being itself and, the, and that religion in particular uh, for the person that wrote it. Um, and uh, was it Zill? Zill, you were practicing um, archery, weren't you? Yes. Okay. I read the um, book and I got some knowledge. Hmm. Wait, what? I got a couple knowledge checks by trying to uh, pr- not read the book, sorry, practice the book. <laughs> I read a book on archery. I know how to be an archer now. Uh-huh. <laughs> there was um, book reading last week. It just wasn't me. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Uh, some random traveler named Morpheus heard you, walks up to you and says, show me. And then then you proceed to fight him. Um, but that didn't happen. So uh, uh, so you arrive uh, here at um, um, Hurstshire, uh, proceeding from the south road. Uh, heading north. Um, I don't know what's going on with the green lines there, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm just bored. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I mean, not bored. It's like... Wow. It's like the way that I, <laughs> I knit. Listen, listen. Listen. It's the same, it's the same reason that I, I knit during the sermon at church is so that my brain can actually mm. listen because if I sat there doing nothing trying mm. to listen, my brain would be so distracted by itself, I would get no information would go in so um, it's just just doodling, okay? Alright, fair enough. Don't mind me. I, I totally boredom. understand the doodles, I just want to make sure it wasn't anything important I should look at. If you, if you need a duel, you can open like MS Paint or something and put it on the other screen. I don't know how to do that. Okay, so um, 
And then as you were uh, crossing or uh, going north on the road, um, passing through the farm fields, uh, Tony <laughs> um, was giving everyone finger gun. Hey, hey, and uh, uh, a lot of the weary uh, far. Uh, I don't know what to call them farmers, uh, workers, just out there in the field. Uh, so farm hands. Farm hands, yes. Uh, uh, do you take notice? And there's like, hey, uh, not any sort of like, why are you talking to me? But just look, like more ventures coming in. It uh, helps bring, if anything, it invigorates them. It's like, wow, okay, so there are people coming in, and uh, maybe there won't be an attack immediately because um, farming right now is a little bit dangerous. It's uh, actually not so much the danger of bandits. Um, bandits aren't aren't close to uh, major um, towns like this, um, but rather probably like a threat of attack from uh, some rogue elements from um, the Archduke army um, or uh, just wildlife in general. So um, we left off last episode, uh, you guys entering into town and um, <coughs> y'all noticing it's it's quite a buzz uh, in there. Um, n nothing in the sort of, of panic, just there's a lot of uh, activity, uh, but Morella, uh, what she felt though, was a lot of this uneasiness, um, something that is uh, uh, a little bit different than the general uneasiness of townsfolk um, being outside of uh, Stronghold. So with that, I'll turn it over to you all. What would you all like to do? And just so you know, this is still considered downtime. So as we're walking in, I say not loud enough for anyone else ex outside of the group to hear, but I'm just like there's an undercurrent of fear here and I don't know quite where it's coming from but I just wanted to let you know. Interesting. Well, do you want to check data or do you guys want to do some shopping first? Did you just say check data? <laughs> check <No>. that out. <laughs> what? <laughs> You want to check that out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Check. Check, check what out? Like, go talk to the town crier and be like, "What you crying about?" Yeah. <laughs> um, crying about the town. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but like, what about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, so what? Yeah, so what about that? All right. What uh, are you? All yeah, I guess. Just keep going in and see where does one get info in this place and go to that place. I don't know. You know, there's got to be like a town bulletin board or something. I don't know. So, so imagine that that or I mean, you're you're speaking in character, right, Tony? Because because Zill was talking in character. No, I wasn't. I should have been. Um, so imagine that you're all uh, strolling into town. I mean, you're you're not just entering; you're passing one building, but you've pretty much uh, entered what could be considered um, more of a marketplace. Like, uh, you pass by through uh, kind of apartment-like buildings and and homes um, before you enter uh, more of the the city proper, um, where there's businesses and commerce, uh, general commerce going on. So, being in that situation, what would you say and do? Uh, I have an out-of-character question really quick. Yeah. Do I have to buy arrows to use this bow? No. Okay, then... No, so how... how yeah, so how... Um, blah, 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 blah. So how ammo works... I think I put it in your character sheets, actually. Um, maybe I did. Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, if you go to combat and you go down to the ammunition section... Okay, if you don't have ammo, then, then I guess it's not going to have it, but... Uh, like Colleen's uh, sheet, for example, on the combat side, it says that uh, you can regain 1d6 ammo at the end of each combat that you win. That totally does not help answer that question. So <laughs> let me speak in general then. Um, it, unless you're going to some sort of fortification that's controlled by uh, you guys or by um, friendly NPCs, or you're in town, um, your ammo is considered to be fully restored. Um, automatically okay. it's not that's going to be that's part of your resource cost but then you couldn't just to make sure this is clarified you couldn't be out in the archstrude woods and then just have full ammo um you'd either have to uh for arrows you'd have to have to fletch more or um wink at silent and see if she can do some uh, wood warping for you <laughs> actually you didn't pick Warp. up that trait yet did you silent what uh fletching 
with warping. Uh, no. No. Okay. Um, I know that was kind of the plan. I don't. I didn't mean to say now you have to do it, but yeah, I'm about uh, with the changes that have been made. I'm planning on going back that direction. Cool. Um, the uh, I, I think the minutia of things like ammo, you don't have to worry about. But if anything comes up, just let me know and ask. Okay. I you can certainly roleplay it, though, <laughs> if you want. All right. So, so basically, our used ammunition boxes should all be empty. Now? Yes. Okay. I mean, at some point during this, yeah. Uh, but you can consider them empty. Oh, uh, All right. that said, before, uh, one last thing. I actually don't remember when I said this. I think I had an off, uh, offline chat with somebody. Um, that all the stuff that you guys collected, um, you probably would have made use of uh, Tony's mount to carry all that stuff. I mean, Tony, I feel like you would be inclined to carry as much as you can to, to trade and sell. Do you disagree? Well, I mean, if it's given to me, you know, I'll do what I want with it. All right. <laughs> um, so as far as I'm concerned, uh, you would have filled your um, companion with loot. So if you go to your adventure sheet, Colleen, um, and uh, then go to the, there's two halves of the uh, equipment, right? You have your yeah. shorty bow and Tony Can carried by me. Carried oh yeah, by. yeah, yeah. So, um, oh, which by the way, since you're writing your mount, uh, we have to track that you're writing it. So uh, you Makes take up sense. Slots. Um, <clears throat> so if you scroll this down, spot, I'm like 30 inches tall. What is this over here? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I love the accent. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, so if you scroll down, there's a section that says loot, treasure, priceless potions, and so on. What okay. you picked up from that fight um, would be, let's see, uh, I'm trying to math here, so five. You picked up um, 11 pieces of, what, is it 11 pieces? I don't know, just start clicking the checkboxes until your carry by companion's <coughs> full. Because they had a lot of junk that you can turn and sell. Okay. You can still move with full equipment spots, right? Yes. Okay. You can still move while you're overburdened, too. Oh, you just lose. Alright, uh, so ten, 10 loots. 10 loots. Yeah. And, and yeah, you can you can totally, um, for your person, which is the left side, you can carry into your overburden. And when you get into combat, just say that you're dropping said stuff. Um, and, uh, and that would, to me, would take a, uh, um, a full turn. A free action. Oh, okay. Yeah, because. <laughs> but five out of five is okay to not have to do all that, right? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. If okay. uh, yeah, if your use slash total is equal, you're good. Oh yeah, that oh, was that was the only thing that I that I realized that we should probably walk into is making sure that you that Tony is carrying a lot of the loot that you guys scored from that last fight. Yeah, I think we did put uh, most of the stuff on her. All I had was the sweet ass large shield and some deer meat that we already ate a while ago. Yeah, so. deer meat. yeah. Technically, I don't think we had anything else. I think, uh, I think, um, oh my god, the name is escaping me. But uh, Jinx's character has the uh, banner. I think, and I don't think yeah. there's anything else. Jinx's character's name is Jinx. Oh. See that? That's why I can pick up something else. <laughs> but so, what? What John's saying is that we collected a bunch more stuff. Wink, wink. That we can sell. Wink, wink. Sweet. <laughs> you so, know. So to sell stuff, by the way, um, is uh, if you look in between the check boxes, um, actually in between all those boxes, is a bunch of notes. Uh, but for selling stuff, you can see that uh, near the bottom of that narrow column, it says auto, auto, sell for monetary for plus one current resource. So loot, treasure, and priceless are monetary trade goods. Um, so you, you can sell for monetary uh, trade goods um, for plus one current resource. So what you're hauling right now and just loot alone is 
two resources, and then you'll, and then you'll have two loot left over. Uh, what I'm trying to find right now, because I, I had the page bookmark when I lost it, is it says auto. So does that mean you just you just get it? Um, so to make sure that's <coughs> that's correct. But anyway, continue on. All right, so I'll pick up from. I'll just repeat that. So do you want to investigate what Morella said? Do you want to maybe learn information about the shield or do some do some shopping? I mean, let's do all that. Well, all right. I are, okay, because... are we talking in character? Because <laughs> yeah, I'm talking in character, just not with a girl voice. Okay. Okay. Auto means um, you you don't have to make a roll. You can just do it. Word. I mean, uh, I think we should do all of that stuff. Uh, I mean, whatever order, I don't care. Anybody have a uh, reference? Then let's investigate the shield first. If no, if there's no objection. Not from this department over here. All right. Well, how do you go about uh, figuring out that shield? I guess we'll go to an armory. Armor Smith. Okay. Um, Somebody who would know. How cool it is, I guess. I don't know. Is... Well, wasn't there something on it, like his emblem? Well, I put sweet ass general? large shield, so it's pretty sweet ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know that much. That's about it. <laughs> not your average. Not your average ass. Crappy. <laughs> but a sweet ass. Yeah, it's not just a boring <laughs> ass shield. It's a sweet ass shield. Oh, yeah. Mm. Um, so, uh, who here has. Streetwise. Me. So whoever has Streetwise, um, it, but I mean, whoever says I will do this um, with Streetwise, uh, go ahead and roll your Streetwise, and you're going to want a 10 or higher. This is not going to be a spare time roll. I mean, I could do it. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. Slow up, slow up. We should, you want to learn about this shield, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so whoever um no no never mind i'll take it back i'm not going to consume all of your spare time points yes proceed uh, streetwise 10 or higher whoa oh okay it says talking oh, to crap. yourself How do oh. I... oh sweet why does it still say hamish basket Oh, awesome, and you got a strong hit, but um, that's fine. You're not going to get anything in addition to that. So, um, But I got 11. What you were rolling for streetwise is how you go about finding someone who can um, either appraise the shield or find no more about it. Um, so what what someone was able to... Like, you were probably going vendor to vendor, Um and someone finally chimes up and says, oh, well, you're going to want to go to um, the smithing district. Um, and I haven't really created one yet, so let me add one. That'd be cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the smithing district is going to be here. Wow, that is incredibly small to me. Hold on, let me zoom in. And incredibly not legible. You don't see it yet, right? Or is it already there? No, we can see it if we zoom in. Can I change the color? Some squint like this. Cool. What color? What's a good color? Yellow? Ugh. Ooh. I mean, white worked. White worked? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to me. Maybe anyway. Create like a friendly spot, maybe? I guess that's good enough. Let's... Um... There. That's the specific district. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my roll 20 skills. Uh, I still need to work on them. Anyway, would red be better? Should I make that red? All right, I'm going to be right back. Oh, it doesn't ah. let you put a border on it. That's crazy. I just, I wish, uh, I wish it was like a drop shadow or something, you know? Yeah, that's what I mean. Something like it. 
Um, I mean, I, I could probably do a makeshift drip, drop shadow, and that's to create like a rectangle. Wait, how do I fill that? Oh, there's a, you have to fill in the checkerboard box with the uh, gotcha. same color. Yeah, hang on. I'm gonna send that to front. Okay, something like that. There we go. Ooh. That and looks good. I'm a pro. Okay, so. Uh, Alright, what are we doing over here? So just note that um, me marking locations is really just a matter of reference, not so much uh, here's how long it takes to go there and, and so forth. So we're not going to dwell on the minutia of travel within town. Um, but you did okay. hear about this. Uh, so Tony and, and those that are accompanying her, you look like a big threatening gang and everyone cries when they see you. Um, <laughs> except at Tony. They go, oh, riding on, on a... What, what is the, the animal type of your mount again? Yeah, I mean, what would you call that? Like a, like a warg or something. I mean, pretty gross. Pretty gross. So I don't know. It's not it's important. Like it's got furry patches and bear skin patches and a giant rat tail and it's got big floppy ears and crazy weird horns. Yeah, no, it's not important. Um, I I just. Uh, I can't think of anything, so I was feeling kind of lame. Um, so yes, uh, so you, uh, Tony, how when that merchant told you, yeah, there's uh, you might want to go to the smithing district. They might know something about the shield and where it came from. What do you do? I say, right, thanks. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Get everybody, you know. Do one of those, and then I get equally excited and follow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone else is doing the same, I presume. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm just okay. going with the group. Cool. So you, uh, so you enter the smithing district. It's it's nice, big, and open. Um, that open space that's there, um, that's that's almost two blocks essentially. Um, and uh, and it's set up with uh, a lot of anvils on the outside. Some have these uh, those kind of like tents or or not tents, um, eaves or stood up eaves that kind of uh, drape over them. Uh, others have like uh, like large. Uh, I was thinking like blankets. What am I talking about? Some uh, canvas tarps. Canvas, or uh, something. Yeah, lots of canvas tarps and uh, tarpaulins. And, um, and you hear just just kind of going in there you wouldn't want to live near there because there's a lot of clang clang a lot of the folks there are uh topless um for the ladies uh they are also appropriate um <laughs> sorry gentlemen um and uh um, but they're all uh hard at work uh, all walks of life um and uh just and there's just general smell of uh, molten iron or uh, not iron <laughs> um molten iron <laughs> and you know iron you know what i'm imagining <laughs> what you're conjuring in my head gendry gendry uh, doing, they, doing his blacksmithery business um with no shirt on. i was gonna get to that they all look like gendry um uh, the di the Ooh. different the different ages of gendry <laughs> All the way through. Oh my goodness! To appeal the entire spectrum <laughs> of the audience, um, <laughs> um, and female Gendrys. So, uh, right. So, female, <laughs> female Gendrys that are also topless. I'll yeah. take them all. Yeah, to, to just line up. Um, so yes, you enter into <laughs> this uh, really weird group of. Uh, Smithies. Gendry's and Gendriettas. <laughs> um, right, so what do you do? <laughs> Apparently you're smitten. 
<laughs> I want to say funny things, but I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. All right, so I lean over to somebody and I go, ooh, la la, am I right over here? <laughs> 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 so okay. To the Gendriettas, you know? Oh, okay. okay. I was like, all right. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> are there any, are am there I, any am I to right waddle? Over here? Okay. Morella just nods <laughs> to you. With any sort of wry smile, like. That was a wink. Yeah. <laughs> no one winks like me, Colleen. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very subtle, very subtle it's wink. A, it's a silent indicator. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the sign, right? It's <laughs> arrest development. Remember, he's like, I wonder if I can convince you to never do that again. <laughs> the mom. Yeah, it was, this, and then the same thing with the crying for something else. But anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so um, I mean, there are other adventures about there too. They look like they're getting some work done, and so I look around to see who looks kind of maybe I don't know in charge-ish. Maybe is wearing a shirt. I don't know. <laughs> some kind of some kind of uh, chest I th plate. I think it's the opposite. No I think the less they're wearing, the more in charge. Okay, they are. I find a guy in a loincloth. <laughs> I go over to him. <laughs> so there's there's this big muscular guy. He's he's uh, I would say kind of like the rock sort of muscular. Like, uh, and all he's wearing is just a loincloth. So you know he's serious business. Um, jo <laughs> joking aside, he is actually just like uh, uh, hard at work, and, and then all he really has is then just gloves. <laughs> he's got he's got gloves on, loincloth. He's sweating. He's got long hair, so it's just okay. You gotta stop describing these scenes, John. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I can not be immersive. Like, no, no, no. NPC, it's NPC too A. Much. Oh, okay. It's too much. Um, and all you see is the backside of him. You turn around, and he has like this kind of look on his face. So it was almost too good to be true. Um, no, I'm what just look did he have on his face? <laughs> not gonna do it again. You can watch the video after I post it. Um, <laughs> no, he's not horrific looking, but he does have like um, longish hair damp because the the tent that he's in I mean you can see him through like the the half opening there but it's pretty hot in there um, and there's a lot of temperature so, <laughs> um, uh, but he has you, you're probably drawn to this tent because a lot of what he has displayed and the works that he uh, has um, for sale uh, you presume looks strikingly similar to the shield that uh, uh, Nalgus Sweet dropped. Ash. Sweet Ash Large Shield. Yeah. Um, the name of this place is Sweet Ash Shield Smithy. Excellent. So you're thinking this might be the right place. Sass! <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to role play with Sass. Sorry. I was thinking about it. I was like, I should probably... No, no. We'll get back to the more serious undertones here. <laughs> um, or do we? Um, you all can't fit in the tent, though. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know if I can carry that shield. <laughs> uh, well, you can certainly, um, like, hail him or something. Uh, <laughs> on screen. No, not that kind of hail. Hail. <laughs> <laughs> we are all awesome at this fantasy world time stuff. Well met. <laughs> when Hail. When sci-fi nerds go fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Open uh, a hailing frequency. No. <laughs> <laughs> he responds, who is it? <laughs> hey, at least traveling will be easier with teleportation. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Right, Marilla? <laughs> So can I lift the shield or not? Probably not. No, right? you you well, you can uh, with great agony because um, you're not used to lifting. Not shields. gonna do it then. Forget um, that. You could. It is reasonable for you to pull up beside the tent, be in his view, probably hop off your mountain, and, and just kind of get stepped on. Hobble over to him and and go. Oh, there, friend, hobble. or something. Okay, you cartwheel. I have a very classy walk. All right. Okay, classy walk. 
Don't be talking about me like I'm hobbling over this, here. I mean, this right? uh, you're, for your character, this isn't really trip. This is actually pretty trivial for you to just approach someone, uh, even a smith, um, to talk about their wares. So in yeah, most in most cases, you you're used to doing trades, or you're used to bring in your mountain to view to where you can show whatever goods you have on there and then it's just not normal for the real me so i'm just trying to oh sure get, get it together over here all right i don't want your ideas dear <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i love the little <laughs> meows though they're so cute uh so yeah i hop off my uh mount i guess and head over to the giant dude Guess <laughs> he's not giant. He's he's just well. He's the giant to you compared to me. Yeah, he's, he's pretty giant. freaking giant. He's pretty giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right. So I go over to him and uh, let's see. I feel like the the language in this kind of place and the whole New York accent thing don't blend very well. It's great. But, uh... They're not cooked. Okay. Sorry. The Smith responds, what's not cooked? <laughs> <laughs> the sliced beets in the fridge, obviously. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, I go over to him. I mean... Do I come to this town very often? Does maybe this guy knows me? I... Uh, well, let's find out if he does know you, right? Let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and roll. Uh, go and roll streetwise again. And I was going to give a difficulty, but that nails it. Um, <laughs> he does not know you. You succeeded, just so you know. Okay. Um, he does not know but, you, but he knows of you. Sweet. Um, That's what I wanted over here. The success <laughs> here was whether he knows you in good favor or bad favor. He knows you in good favor. Obviously, that'd be Ooh. weird to succeed with bad favor. <laughs> I know, right? But with those 50-50 <laughs> things are kind of, you know, don't make sense a lot of times. So, uh, well, okay, so, but did you greet him? I, I don't. Uh, if he's, not yet. Okay. I just kind of was like, wait a second. Do I know this guy? Like, you know, sorry. He, he, um, he, what, that's what you glance from him, because you guys made eye contact, um, and he's still, uh, he's trying to fold, um, he's trying to fold metal with a steel. sword, steel with a sword, and, uh, and when he went to go dip the sword, that's when he saw you, but he went back to the steel because he wanted to not keep the sword in for too long, pulls the sword back out, looks at it, and he goes back to hammering again, so... Um, but you saw a glint of him going, oh, uh, like a positive recognition. Uh, so it's pretty loud in there. So I guess I walk over and I do kind of one of these, like, hey, over here. Yeah. Can they, would he hear me if I said something with all the banging? Oh, what can <laughs> I do for you, little lord? Eh, Tony here. I got a shield I want you to check out for me. Tony, ah, your reputation precedes you. Uh, yes, give me just one second. And he's uh, he continues hammering just a little bit more, uh, cools off the sword again, uh, holds it up, and uh, here's where a uh, table talk. I, <laughs> when you're smithing, do you just keep going until it's done? Like, do you have to keep going, or could you pause that kind of work? You can pause it. You Smith can pause it as long as you've just quenched it, then you can set it down. Okay, yeah. So he does that. The, He's I'm pretty sure. Actually, you can you can pause it before the quench or after the quench, not during the quench. Oh, okay. So if you're heating up so don't, to the don't quench, leave it in your bucket of water. Yeah. Well, you can leave it in the bucket of water. What I'm saying is, is like during the heating process for the quench, that's the time that you need to pay the most attention. So putting the, the sword process. in the bucket of water with all the steam, that's the quench. Okay, so yeah. he, he would probably then just no. toss the sword into the... Wait, would he toss the sword in the bucket, or would he just still pull no. that out? He'll pull it out and set it on top of the anvil, because yeah, he doesn't okay. want to leave it in the water, because it'll warp. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay, that's what I thought. All right, so, um, okay, cool. Thanks for uh, all the feedback there. Those are really good points. So he looks like he doesn't know what he's doing, and he's like, he consulted 
some of his <laughs> elder gods, and then he goes, oh, and then he puts it on the <laughs> Voices from above. The ones to my need. Like I always, I always imagine these sort of scenes where we're like role playing about, and then we do some table talk. That that the the scene doesn't actually stop. They just kind of stop and stare at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, that does stop. So he sets the um, the sword on the anvil, um, and he pulls off his glove, set it on top of the. Uh, 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 on top of the anvil. sword and then the anvil and are they parsnips is that what they call like the, the thing that we use huh tongs tongs okay what? so so um then parsnips you... are a root vegetable <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's like parsley right he puts parsley on it <laughs> i don't know what's happening right now <laughs> <laughs> Are you drinking the wrong beer, John? All right, I'm, I'm going to be fully honest with you all. There's a new GM achievement out there I'm going for, and and it's, it's a lap attack. Yeah, and it's it's going for <laughs> most drunk GM. <laughs> I'm gonna say I love parsnips, and I'm looking forward to. Getting I don't know why they thought they were called parsnips. <laughs> I, I, I'm just imagining They're like the big black giant white carrot trying to to work with metal instead of using tongs <laughs> using parsnip. Because this guy is that good, all right. <laughs> That's the secret. So you rub the saw down with the parsnip, and then it starts like the, with the vitamins and stuff. Good for the metal. No, anybody might see that. So when sci-fi game masters go fantasy as well. <laughs> oh boy. How do parsnips come from space? <laughs> space parsnips, okay. 13,000 years in the future in Fragged Empire, they didn't know what to call them, and there wasn't such a thing as parsnips, so an ancient earth home is, uh, I tried. I, I'm just <laughs> thinking of a parsnip sword, where anyone who's allergic to parsnip gets touched by that sword just immediately dies. Alright, so y'all are assholes because he was eating parsnips, right? <laughs> and then he decided to put the parsnip down on the anvil. You don't eat raw parsnips. He does. <laughs> That's like eating a raw meat. This guy does, Never seen right? that happen before. Maybe you gotta question this muscular guy that's wearing just a loincloth that looks like the rock and he takes a bite out of parsnip you go hey you shouldn't be eating raw parsnips I mean whatever floats your boat <laughs> he said he said sorry I was just eating this partially cooked parsnip to perfection <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's rewind here. No, let's not. So he sets <laughs> he sets down the tongs and <laughs> his gloves and his parsnip uh, <laughs> stored there. Um, and uh, as part of, uh, so he goes, uh, um, okay, Tony, show me this shield that you're. <laughs> Why are you not taking me seriously right now, Tony? No, I got this sweet ass shield. Oh, right okay. Here. Wait, I'm trying to show you. What are you looking at? Why huh? are you holding a shield like this? I'm not holding it. It's on my mouth. I'm putting my hands. Oh, it. oh, I see. Jeez. For the screen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why this guy's. Uh, you got something wrong with your eyes, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, oh yeah. So he would say, uh, uh, Tony, welcome to my shop. Um, yes, uh, do you show me the shield? And you go, yeah, here's my shield. And and he steps out, and the rest of you can see him. He actually has to kind of kind of bend down to get out of the tent. Um, it's not that he's not freakishly tall. It's just a little bit of a nod. Um, and uh, and he comes out, um, certainly enjoying the, the cooler air on the outside. He wipes uh, the sweat off of his brow. Um, and he sees the shield. He goes, uh, huh. I've seen a shield like this before. Not my kind of work. Um, are you looking to trade it? Uh, I'm just looking... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. You can do it. I'm just looking for more information about it. You know, like... Uh, you know, if it's uh, worth much, or... 
maybe even who made it. <laughs> um, so he's he's going to look at that and go, hmm, I haven't seen this kind of work before myself, at least not from this town. Um, but Morella, uh, what skills do you have? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, Marilla, I want you to roll awareness for me, please. Um, and you're gonna okay. want a, and you're gonna want a twelve or higher. What do I click? Uh, just a regular one. Yeah, just regular roll, and then uh, you have two in awareness, so just put two in there. Nice. Okay, so when he said that, this is a... Oh my gosh, you got a strong hit, too. It's even better. You have uh, Glimpse Past Slash Future uh, for that. So, I may allow you to glimpse through time to gain an additional piece of information about your current location. Yeah, you're still in Hershire. No, I'm just kidding. Um... Why is it current location? I always think it would be like current situation, I guess. Um, so the awareness part was uh, not so much what he uh, looks like on the outside, but on the inside, um, you were drawing this this feeling like um, he may actually have seen it before. Uh, he hit it pretty well, um, but his thoughts kind of betrayed him. His feelings were of shock. The glimpse that you saw, though, was that uh, he, you got, you don't know at what point in time it was. It must have been some sort of memory that kind of came up. But you saw Nalgris Prathic and that shield. So while you see that, while you're glimpsing all that, Tony and... Um, and uh, this guy, he didn't introduce big, himself big yet. Big guy right? over here. He didn't introduce I don't himself remember. yet. His name is Algar. So Tony and Algar are blah blah blahing um, about stuff when when you get that glimpse of of uh, him actually seeing it. Um, but you don't you don't get to see like what the interaction was or what it was about. You just know that Algar has personally seen Nalgris. And that's the tiger guy, right? Right. Okay. Mm. Okay. You gonna tell anybody about that? No, <laughs> well, I don't know. You're in the middle of talking to the guy. <laughs> this is kind of true, yeah. Does the guy say anything else to me? Are you, are you waiting for anything particular, Marilla, or are you just going to let this go? I don't know. I haven't decided. She's going to hold, hold, <laughs> whilst everything else continues. So the uh, I will say the conversation, unless you want to converse back and forth, Tony, uh, we can sum it up. You can sum it up for me. So um, uh, from the back and forth, there wasn't that much of a back and forth. That uh, eventually he just he's like, well, I'm not particularly interested in that shield, um, and I'm not certain there's anyone from this town that has made a shield like that. But if you're interested in my shields, uh, you're welcome to buy them. Hmm. All right, where might I go if I want to uh, offload said shield? Hmm. Uh, I'm sure uh, I'm not particularly interested. Um, you may check the other smithies here, but I may I suggest the market uh, to the east. Sounds like a good suggestion. Thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Am I in the tent as well? No one was in the tent. He came. He came out of the oh, tent. That's right. Yeah. That's I'm right. Uh, at the edge of the tent. I'm not even in it. So I'm gonna say to him. Uh, one more thing. Um, we noticed that the town's a little bit uneasy. Do you know anything about that? Ah, yes. So, lately we've been the target of wildlife attacks. Um, while that's been kind of normal for us, um, there have been rumors about some greater beast out there. It's been causing quite an uproar, and frankly, 
I think it's uh, uh, I think it's just really more of a rumor um, to uh, spin people up in this town. Hmm. Alrighty then. Thank you. You're welcome. He's a very polite guy. Wildlife seems kind Girl. of big. Hmm? Well, talking about the big baby. dude. Could be. Anywho. Thanks for the, thanks for the info. Alright, good day to you, Tony. Have a great rest of your day. He turned back. He turns back to his tent. You can see his sh the sharpness of his shoulder muscles and by his own. <laughs> 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 um, and his uh, surprisingly round but firm buttocks. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Dang it! Um, <clears throat> You're letting out my secret, John. Yeah. Goes back, takes another bite of parsnips, and. Continue smithing. Oh my God. <laughs> totally cut recovered from that. Yes. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Also, I don't know why there's a whole district of smithies. Um, perhaps this is kind of like a like a crafting corner, so to speak. It's where very hot and sweaty <laughs> corner. <laughs> yeah, everyone walks in slow motion there as they toss their hair about and. <laughs> oh my God, I am out of the smithing district. Okay, I'm heading to the friggin' market to the west. Okay? Wait, so I motion to everybody like I want to talk. So let's find a quiet alley. Okay, uh, uh, let's alley. let's go to the quiet alley. Let's talk and then let's uh, take a break. Okay, so did he like lie to Tony? When he asked about the shield? I don't know. What do you think? I was not listening because it wasn't my interaction. So the... Uh, well, Tony, what do you recall from that conversation? That he doesn't think anyone in this area made that shield and he's not particularly, particularly interested in it, but somebody in the area might be uh, and that I should go to the market. Well, I... He did say okay. all of that. Before that, he, when Tony initially shown the shield, he said um, the feeling that you got was shock. Okay. That he didn't show it, but um, the feeling, feeling that, you that from I got. Or are you talking to Marilla. no me? Marilla, oh. Marilla felt the shock coming from him, um, the feeling of shock, and um, and then he proceeded to tell Tony the very first thing he said. Huh? I haven't seen a shield like that. I don't think, All and right. then the rest of what Tony said. So when he said, I haven't seen a shield like that, that's when that memory popped up okay. of uh, Nalgris. All right, so we're in an alley now? Sure. All right. I was saying, Algar was lying. He was shocked when you showed him that shield, and I got a memory. He's seen Nalgris with that shield. Crap. I don't know what it means but I figured I should well, tell you. <clears throat> so I don't know what you guys don't think, know. but I'm pretty sure we just found this shield laying in the street, right? <clears throat> wink, wink. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You did. <laughs> <laughs> not All a right. lie. It's not a lie. <laughs> as long as we got our story straight over here. <laughs> but which street? Uh... uh... <laughs> <laughs> none, of your, none of your dang business. On the corner of Nunya and business. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, well, maybe we should keep an eye on him. He might, uh, he might have been secretly working with that guy if he did make that shield and he didn't want to talk about it. Seems legit. He might yeah, be maybe. supplying him. I just didn't want to say anything to him because people already don't like me that much. I don't want to go around saying, hey, I glimpsed one of your memories. <laughs> You're a big fat liar. <laughs> so um, my character steps in and goes, by the way, since he mentioned about the wild animal attacks, I think that we should investigate into this and see if that's also 
what's going on and get more information on that. Maybe we can help out with that and, you know, get rewarded for the help. That was, sounds was good. Seems like a reasonable idea. First, let's offload this dang shield, because weighing down my Mario over here. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what he's talking about? <laughs> do you all know what what he means by Mario? Oh, no. did I not? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? You I just assume that. that's what you've settled on the name of your beast, right? <laughs> yes. So I was laughing. What? I, what do you I think, think it was? I think everyone else doesn't know your mount's name is Mario. But oh. now we do. It just sounds like like <laughs> your slang <laughs> for your accent. It's way <laughs> down my Mario. It's way down my Mario. <laughs> <laughs> it's like slang for mount or something. M Mario M mount. <sighs> down my Mario over here. <laughs> I hey, just man. put two and two together I, and try I'm, not to laugh. I don't know. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm super excited about this accent coming from Tony. It's been it's been <laughs> oh, a good. hoot. And, it's great. Yeah, but it's really hard when we are having a laugh attack and then it's back to listening to Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mute myself for a while because so, I'm laughing. sorry. I've already learned something today about parsnips. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about my wife and blacksmiths. <laughs> yeah, this guy's right too. He's just eating raw parsnips, apparently. Hey, hey, that one part in Pirates when Will's like, I've got a blacksmith's hands. <laughs> it does it for me. It's fine. Pirates. <laughs> I was trying, you know, the thing that I was just trying to be a little bit more immersive, and you're like, you gotta stop describing stuff. I'm like, oh. I, was I was not trying to offend you, honey, but it was. No, she just meant hot it's heavy. heavy. I know. And then I'm like, <laughs> I'm really good at describing stuff in that manner, too, so maybe I don't do that? Maybe you should save it for the bedroom, no. huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, good hey, goodness. waggly eyebrows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like the eyebrows that go like this? Eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking, John just needs to bring like an anvil and like a hammer into bed, and I was thinking, nope, parsnips. Parsnips, oh my yes. God, no. <laughs> I, think I heard Brandon. Peter. Brandon, you're back, right? Yeah. Okay. I've been back. <laughs> uh, well, not the last time I asked, but yes, you're back now. Great. So. <laughs> now I'm not. No. no. <laughs> Damn it. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. So you finish a conversation uh, in an alley somewhere. It doesn't matter. You find a quiet little alley to have your side talk <laughs> um, and, uh, and share a nice mustache. Mm -hmm. Looks fake, though. Um, fancy pants crochet hook is what it is. That is a pretty fancy. It looks like a wand, too. You can double that as it a, does, yeah. a wand. And you're watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me refresh mine. I'm not seeing uh, Halloween's camera. Uh, so. Yeah, I had to refresh. It's because I'm so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, all, I, all I do is get a picture of Colleen with short hair. That's not, uh, yeah. That's not the video. That's not a good get indeed. Well, uh, so what's the plan while, while uh, that's being taken care of? Going to the market. Going to the market. You're at the market. I will not <clears throat> describe what's it like there because everyone looks Fixing hot. The... There. <laughs> Stop it, for Pete's sake. They're, rel uh, they're relentlessly attractive. Every single one. All right, one. I say, all right, forget this. And I turn around <laughs> and leave town. <laughs> I just throw the shield on the ground. There's something wrong with this town. There's something else going on here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the plot thickens. Um, and so does that bicep. As Silent reaches for a hot tea and goes, mmm, nice, hot, and refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I should have said Morella. Morella doesn't look like that. That could be silent with the ears covered. But anyway, so, uh, yes, so you enter the market. Well, if we sell the shield, this is in character, by the way. Yeah. If we sell the shield, um, we can at least get some money off of it, unless you, there's any other plan. 
I don't think we really need it at this point. We might have already gotten all the information we're going to get out of it. Yeah, no, I was just going to sell it for money. I think that's a good idea. Okay, good. Well, I, I, another idea that I have, and I'm saying this in character, um, is we can go back and we can press the uh, blacksmith for more information on the guy who had the shield. We can. But do we need the shield to do it, do you think? No. But, All right. You know, that's just another avenue that we can take. I agree. I don't really feel like being intimidating right now. <clears throat> hey, you, you can do the marketing. We'll do the intimate. All right. Yeah, you're having trouble with all this hotness going on, so... <laughs> that, is, that is out of character, alright? <laughs> Quit bringing that crap up, okay? That's not fair. Speaking of market, though, um, those parsnips he was eating are probably something we should stock up on. <laughs> you gonna bribe him with parsnips? My food. one Yeah, if Super up, ultra buff dude eats nothing but raw parsnips. I guess we all have a new diet now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give me some of those sweet parsnips. Well, that's another outlook we could take. I kind of meant we should stock up on food for our next journey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I was, I was more along the thinking of uh, I don't need to buff up. My pets are already bigger than his are. <laughs> All right, so let's sell the shield and get some food. All right, so do I like I know how to sell stuff in this market, right? Yeah, you're. I've this been is here where, before. And... Yeah, this is where you're gonna need to uh, roll a spare time point. Um, so how spare time points are spent for in this case? Uh, well, actually, no, 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 no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that back because. Um, Selling loot is automatic. Um, so that shield is considered part of loot then at this point. Um, you With the amount of loot that you have on Mario, um, plus Mario. your shield, Mario, Mar Ma Mario. Tomato. Um, <laughs> is uh, is uh, the amount of loot that, that uh, Mario is carrying. Did I get it right? I'll just get. I'll just say Mario. Forget it. I'll do it my way. So sorry. So Mario, <laughs> the loot that's on Mario plus the shield is enough for plus three current resources that you can either keep for yourself <laughs> or share amongst the group. What do we do? So with four resources? resources. Ooh, if I get one more resource, I can get a knowledge. Yeah, I plus two other people too if because everyone has three so how resources work is because of your level excuse me because of your level you have seven maximum resources except for colleen she has eight because um she's cool like that um <clears throat> I, I can't remember if it's a tolado thing or not but she gets plus one I mean, it's probably because yeah, I I'm think so. like, I'm pretty cool. I think so. It's but Smash resources. She or rather, he doesn't have uh, more current resources. Um, so you have maximum resources. So you can have a maximum of seven in your case, and then for Tony, eight. Um, each of you have three current resources. So gaining one more current resource means you can afford to have more things on you, such as having a companion. Of some sort. If we don't, if I'm uh, sorry, if we use it, does it, uh, do we consume them or just upon reaching that we get? Uh, the latter. It's not a, it's not a consumable thing. You don't consume resources. You consume huh. spare time points Power. and you consume knowledge. You do not consume resources or renown. Resources okay. and renown, that's, think of it like equity. Uh, if you understand what equity is, that this, you're allocating your resources to the things that you have. Or rather, gotcha. um, like take bills for example. You make enough to pay for rent and electricity and so forth. Um, you can think of those bills as the weapons and armor and maybe companions or whatever else that you have on you. Those consume your resources. So you will have this regular amount of money. Now you have more current resources and therefore you can afford to maintain a lot of your Bonus. Yeah. Above and beyond, okay. Mm -hmm. So... 
with all the stuff I'm gonna sell, we each get one bonus resource. Is that what you're saying? Uh, you only get a total of three, so oh. two of you won't. If you yeah, two of you won't if you if you spread it out, or you can keep it all right. out yourself. All right, I'm not gonna be a d bag over here. <clears throat> Looking to make enemies. Uh, here. Right. Was I holding anything for anybody? Uh, you can get rid okay. of the deer meat. We ate that. Yeah, no, I'm meant, saying you can get rid I of meant loot-wise, did anybody say, like, here, hold this for me? I mean, <clears throat> did anybody say, like, here, hold this for me? <clears throat> totally talking in character right now. Um, I don't think so, unless we put any of the small shields, the, like, buckler things on there. Yeah, it's just an assortment of uh, swords and shields. Oh, word. Okay. So, I don't think anybody specifically did. I think, I think uh, Jinx has the actual banner on him or her, him. Him. Yeah. Um. I think you have that actually on you. Yeah, I do. So I don't think anybody's. Uh, I don't think you're holding anything for anybody specifically. Hang on. So a second. how do we? How do we? Um, I just I, hang on a second. So Jinx, you're a dude. I'm a dude. Is everybody else a chick? A girl. Yeah. <laughs> Tony, Tony and Jinx are the, the only dudes huh? here. Yep, Jinx and Tony are the only dudes here. All right, and Mario. Don't forget about him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Tony, go ahead and delete the sweet ass large shield from your list and uncheck all your loot boxes <coughs> and Tony's question just so you all know was really more asking um, who gets the fair share here yeah I've, I've got an extra resources I don't know who to give to so if I, I get a resource I get it. another knowledge point because mm -hmm. I need one but I won't take it if other people need it I mean, you are kind of new to the group. Yeah, I'm not going to, like, <laughs> presume to. Hey, great group. Thanks for the loot. <laughs> See you later. Hey, I no. killed people. I attacked the group. <laughs> you know, yeah. I really... I mean, I'm sharing Zola, information you're... that I'm gaining. I don't want to hear. <laughs> if we're thinking about it, really, Tony and Silent were the original group. Yeah. Um, Jinx attacked the group. Zill said... Hey, that's not cool. And then Rose like, save me. So, hey, hey hang on. So <laughs> me and me and Silent were the we were traveling together from one town to another, whatever. Yeah, you uh -huh. were leaving Silent's uh, like, yet to be named village. Like, and, uh, hey, you going that way? Me too. Okay, well, I guess we'll travel together, kind of like just acquaintances. Mm -hmm. Well, you were yeah, you were leaving the village, heading back to Stronghold. Um, her village was the last village <laughs> for the goods that you were uh, peddling. And uh, Silent took the opportunity to uh, return back with you. Um, <clears throat> as if I recall correctly, uh, there was a clarion call for um, for uh, adventures, the Vanguard. Um, <clears throat> and Silent wanted to uh, not so much respond to that as much as what's the current state of of this land, like this world, as. Uh, uh, I think an envoy for your village. Is that, am I speaking out of turn here, Silent? No. Okay. Excellent. Seems legit. So yeah. Um, so really, it's just more a discussion of who's going to get what number of resources. I mean, so I guess probably Silent would get one. I have three total or four total. Three total. So I took one. Mm -hmm. Probably going to give one to Silent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y'all can hmm. talk to her too, uh, being Colleen. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, don't, was, you don't have to wait for her to make a decision so you can silently what? judge her like, how dare you? I already <laughs> said my piece. What? I was going to yeah. say, let's go alphabetically and then just rotate accordingly. So, like, I mean, for example... That's... Well, so, I, I think since we're that's... going the direction of, of who who... You know, joined up in the group. I was actually thinking. Um, oh, let me think here. Um, Zyle? Uh, uh, Zyle. 
Woodzell. Woodzell, yeah. The, the, I, I was thinking that at first, too, but then it occurred to me that that's just kind of the way that it worked out for us to meet each other, and it wasn't mm-hmm. really uh, anybody's fault but Oza's, not that I'm actually blaming him. Uh, but that's just like, kind of the way we met. So like, But, again, it would, it would kind of, I mean, like, Jinx oh, yeah, exactly. was a bad guy shortly ago. And Marilla, yeah, we only true. just met. That's true. You know uh, yeah, in character, it would make the most sense, I suppose. That's, I want to be in character with my decision. Yeah. I want to be like, yeah. you know. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Everyone physically draws straws in your individual cities, and let's see your straws. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wouldn't work. Uh, uh, yeah, so probably Silent and Zill. Yeah, I wish I had enough for everyone. I really do. I wish we could do like half resources. I would like split it up. Nice and even, yeah. Steven. Her her choice has my vote for sure, <laughs> and not just because I'm the one getting one. Because <laughs> it does make the most sense. All right, it is done. Silent and Zill, you each get a bonus resource. Okay. Thank Mario, okay? He was carrying all that crap. I go to Panem and <laughs> choose not sold. to. After what? seeing the Stargate picture. But I go to pet him, but then after seeing the Stargate picture, I... I, I mean, don't pet his face. You know, it's kind of... <laughs> <clears throat> he kind of has a furry patch back there. That's kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, I, I have updated. <clears throat> So you can consider uh, gaining those resources as not like here's a big lump and it's a box. This is the resources that you have. Um, you can consider it being that uh, that Tony and you all just, it, whether you went together or you kind of went about and just went to look at other wares, that you left it up to Tony to, to uh, <laughs> sorry, it was like loud mouth breathing. Um, you left it up to Tony to sell um, the goods that the, the loot that you got from your last fight, um, and uh, and then you all maybe just kind of uh, reconnoitered and and he just had this large purse and handed you all the coins from the loot and then you just put that in your own purses. Um, however, that uh, really worked out. Um, You're welcome. So I mean, that's that's the the, the like kind of the okay. tangible money in the bag thing, but really it's just that you have coin on your person uh, for whatever divination of coin it is, um, <clears throat> and uh, cash money. Yeah. So what all what all else are you doing? Uh, do we buy food? It, that's considered the minutia that gets automatically restocked. So when you guys are going to make like another trip, any open slots that you have uh, on your person for each open slot um, is equivalent to being able to travel for um, 10 days, if I recall correctly, for each of you. Okay. Um, Holy crap. Yeah. So if one of you I has like an open travel slot. forever. Well, if one of you has one open <laughs> slot, Mario is completely full up, the rest of you are full up, but you have one open slot for your entire group. That's enough for you to travel for two days. Does that make sense? A slot where? Oh, like in your uh, on your character sheet. Equipment. Yeah. Well, I don't have any Locked. free slots. Yeah, same does here. Have enough, Equipment. Does Mario have enough free slots to uh, accommodate for me and Silent? All all of them are free except for me. He's empty right now. Mario is bare naked <laughs> except a saddle and me. Um. So we got food. Yeah. Crap four empty slots, I think. Plus on my person, I've got, you know, they're all empty. Well, except for, so my total is full, but, you know, okay. Yeah. So on my mount, I got seven. Cool, so we're good. For ten days for seven people. Or ten days per slot, you know what I mean. Um, I mean, that's, yeah, that's when you venture it. out. Like, you don't, yeah. cur- you're not currently full of all kinds of food. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, so, uh, who's like the leader of this town? I say, out of character, to you, John. Uh, the only way you're going to find out is if you ask in character. Crap. Uh, but 
Has so Tony been running... here before? Yeah, I have been here before. Right. Um, that would. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, <laughs> the well. Okay. So let me ask you, what's what's the name of the mayor in your town in real life? Okay. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, I know you know, Colleen. Wait, actually, do you know so who the mayor Tony is? So Tony would know. Mayor of Aloha? Yeah. I don't think Aloha has a well, mayor. Well, Aloha is part of Beaverton. Like, yeah, so it would be the mayor of Beaverton. Mayor of Beaverton? I don't okay, know. He's so, probably so, a scum bucket. So my point Sorry. being is you don't know. Are you calling me a scum bucket then? I mean, I don't, um, you're the mayor. You're the mayor of Beaverton. <laughs> You're the mayor of Beaverton. Let's get some stuff done. All right. <laughs> hey, I get a lot of stuff done. I get to sit back, relax, and do nothing. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what mayor does, right? Annie, who put the picture? I did. <laughs> Dang it, John. <laughs> it happened. Right. So that is all guys. <laughs> So the point. Sorry, my point. So sorry. Let me wrap this up. So the point being is the reason why you don't know is because typically most people don't know. In a fantasy setting, I, I guess most folks would know, but you are not of this town. You are visiting. So right. You can find out. So, but uh, I'm still near the market, right? You are in the market still. I mean, I'm assuming you're all still all right. in the market. Up to you. Yep. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just go up to somebody who looks friendly and whatever. Isn't looking at me like, what the crap? Because <laughs> I'm, you know, tiny green dude on a yucky thing. Uh, so I'll walk over to him and I'll say, uh, Hey, uh, do you know who's in charge of this place? To who in particular? I know, I know you're saying to anyone, but who specifically? A person in the marketplace. I don't know. Somebody who's selling stuff. Someone who's selling stuff. Jerry, the rug salesman. I don't know. Oh, good old Jerry, the rug salesman. So I don't know. The, so there is indeed someone selling rugs uh, there. Uh, it's a thing. So um, he's got um, these red and blue and uh, green and uh, very... Um, designed, totally. styled rugs, uh, kind of. Oh, I thought you were talking about Jerry. <laughs> he's all those different yeah, colors. He's is what he looks like <laughs> when he sees you. <laughs> no, he's he's got all these rugs out, and, and this is after you you're basically on your way out of the market, and you're going, well, mm -hmm. wait, who's running this place? You're thinking to yourself, is what I gathered. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So you decide uh, while you're riding atop of Mario, um, you do have to kind of like lean down a little bit. You're you're on Mario, you are almost as tall as most people. Anyway, so you kind of peer down and you go, hey, hey there. <clears throat> so this guy, whose name is not Jerry, um, <laughs> enters like, uh, uh, hey there, adventurer. What uh, what can I do you for? Are you just in any rugs? We're role playing this out. I'm not going to let you get away with just saying, I asked for some Joe Schmo. Well, you said, who do I ask? Yeah. So you asked this person. Anyway. So you asked, you, you said it just, yeah, go on. So, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm, I'm leaning down and I say, uh, hey, uh, do you know who's in charge of this place? Oh, in charge. Town? <laughs> this thing? Um, <laughs> this, you know, conglomeration of buildings, whatever you want to call it. Oh, you, you're talking about Mayor Tadouthi Lev? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's who you're talking about. That they're the mayor of this town. What do you want to know about them? They? Yeah, Mayor Lev. Is it they? <laughs> okay, uh, what are you getting at here? Oh, is it like a some kind of two-headed creature? I'm really confused. You said they're the. Oh, I so I didn't use a gender assigned pronoun there and just because sorry that's a meism. I generally just say they what do you want to know about them what do you know about him so there's only one oh, okay. person sorry. sorry 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so, uh, where, where can I talk to this person? <laughs> oh, the mayor. The mayor is just north of here. Um, I could try to give you directions, but last time I did it, uh, got some poor bum lost. All right, north. Can I, uh, is there any, uh, landmarks to look for? Uh, let's see. You head up north, uh, out of, after you leave the market. He's, like, thinking off the top of his head. You leave the markets. You head north. There's a fountain. Oh, by the way, he's Tolado, so that's why he kind of has your accent. Um, <clears throat> so he has to stand on, like, on a, like, on a box. <laughs> by the way, it's just so... Or three, yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> so let's see. You head out of this market here. The way you're going, turn right. You head up the main street for a bit. I should probably look at the map while I'm saying all this. <laughs> what I'm talking about here. Um, it's, it's not that far. You turn left on this side street, and then eventually you reach into this uh, kind of like largish area. There's a fountain in the middle. Um, he's the the mayor's office is there somewhere. The the building of the mayor. Um, but I've never gone there myself. Do you know what the uh, building is called? Does it have like a sign out front that says like mayor's house? No, I, I don't think it has a sign. I don't think it has a sign, but uh, you'll know when you see it. All right, thanks. Probably what that poor bum said. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Yeah, anytime. If you know anyone need rugs, you come back to me, okay? Sounds good. Off we go. Hey, wait. Bye, um, I guess. Wait, uh, I have one question for him. Oh, you do? What do you know about Elgar? Algar. Uh, who's Algar? Uh, he's the Scorpion King. <laughs> oh, Scorpion <laughs> King! Yes, Al that Algar. <laughs> Bulging, sweaty muscles. Yeah. Listen, I mean, uh, I mean, a lot of people he... out here. Uh, who in particular are you talking about? He's uh, in charge of his own. Uh, smithery in the smithing district. Uh, if you're looking for him, he's in the smithing district. <laughs> he's, put, he's not understanding the question. <laughs> Do you know anything about him? Like, what are your views on him? Is he a good guy? Would he, have you met him? Uh, if it's the guy I'm thinking about, he's the guy that eat parsnips, right? Yes, oh that guy. <laughs> I've heard of this guy. Looks... <laughs> Tall, sweaty, only wears a long cloth. <laughs> oh my god. He <laughs> prefers to work in nothing but a dish rag. <laughs> uh, so, in all seriousness, though, the free question. Um, uh, no, I don't know any Alga, but uh, you know, truth be told, I really don't know anyone from, from uh, who's a smith, so you know, take that as you will. Uh, but. Y you guys need to get on out. You're crowded around my stand. There's probably someone who would want to buy my stuff. Go. Do we have oh, money sorry. on us? Can I just leave him a couple of, like, whatever is not too much money? <laughs> that's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. I feel bad. That's that's totally legit. You, it's actually proper to, <laughs> to get an information to, to tip, at least. Hey, right, thanks, doll. I really appreciate that. Can I, can I tip them nice too without day. losing any resources? Yeah, you're not anything? losing any resources. This is, you're, you're just passing a shilling kind of thing. So. Okay, I give him like a sweet, like, Tolotl secret handshake and pass him a bill or something. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You're from North Stronghold, aren't you? You know it. Yeah, I have family out there. All right, you take care of yourself. You do, man. Yeah. So you leave New York. I mean, the market. <laughs> uh. <laughs> New York. Where are you going? <laughs> uh, I guess we should go north. Maybe try and find this mayor city hall place. So, uh, Ross. <laughs> I thought you said to <laughs> Dang it, your mic is bad. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you... I'm not even going to say it. It's too inappropriate. Did I say city whore to you? Is that what no, it sounded like? No, I thought you said. <laughs> no, I thought you said city hall. Let's go to city hall. <laughs> <sighs> so, uh, <laughs> so based on, does anyone else have Streetwise, or is it only Tony? Oh, <laughs> hey, we were pretty close in our description. Yeah, I don't have Streetwise. 
I don't have it either. I don't believe I do. All right, so Tony, the only uh, one who who has the wise of streets here. Um, <laughs> roll streetwise, uh, based on the information that he gave you, plus the secret handshake, you know that he must be giving you something right. You understand what he's saying, so I'll put that as a ten or higher. You're gonna need to roll. So that okay, you said roll streetwise plus. So am I adding another number or no? <laughs> Whatever your streetwise is, uh, is what you're adding to your roll. Okay. Yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about. All right, what is with the strong hits when we're out of combat? I know, right? What'd you get? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, fifteen. Do you even have a strong hit that's uh, that's good here that I should be considering? I mean, I, no. I, mean, I kick the streets at. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the, the street yields and retreats. Um, <laughs> so uh, yes. leaves all the information behind, so I can just walk around casually and gather it up. <laughs> Marilla, you glimpse a thought from the street. The street is oh shit. <laughs> all right, so that red dot is where not exactly where the mayor's office is because I am not going to just it. It's not a specific building. It's just in there. Um. Wish there was like a real fast way to do this, but this is kind of cool. I'm liking the the labeling here. I don't know about you all. I'm having a lot of fun with it. I like the picture it. is really distracting, like but yes, <laughs> <laughs> the labeling is nice. Um, right. Oops. I actually put it in the wrong spot. Right. Hey, we both fucked up at the same time. Right. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, you totally well, said that the market was west of the sniffing. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, did I? I, I said, okay. <laughs> you totally did. Okay, I can fix that. No problem. I thought, no, I I mean, thought that the map matter. was not, not north and up. I Honestly, I thought, I thought that the uh, was, like, was to the right. <clears throat> Maybe I, can't, I can't click on it anymore. Ah. Uh, error. We're never going to find this place. West of the smithy, huh? No, now the market's where the market is. I've already. Well, the market's <laughs> going to stay right. there. Um, did I say west of the smithy? No, you really? said east. Yeah. East of the uh, smithy? Yeah, you said east. I, 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 said west. I said go north and then go Good left. Thing. Oh, you're talking about the mayor's office? Yeah. We're talking about the market versus smithy, right? Oh, yeah, the market is uh, um, east northeast of the smithing district. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I was just marking the mayor's office. That's what you wanted to do, right? We found it. All right. Yes, so let's please. go to that mayor's office then. We Let want to go, go to there. Da, 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 da. Distracted by things. What time is it? All right, there we go. I did it. Oh, shoot. Are we stopping in 10 minutes? Yeah, we're stopping in 10 minutes. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, cliffhanger. Like, a dragon know. attacks. And the town is ruined. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Oh, I can be trying to tax the town as well. Is that yeah. our traveling music? Just some yes. calm it totally is. <laughs> so what are we doing at the mayor's <laughs> office? I mean, you head down the street, the door. and you see the fountain, which is right here. Okay. I gotta make sure you go. Is Action. it a pretty fountain? Yeah, take a really quick shower in the fountain, because they stink. No. No, I don't. <laughs> That would disturb a lot of people. I All need right. to make sure you guys don't accidentally delete this. <laughs> delete what? I gotta put the labels I'm making to the map layer. Oh, because you want to take the controls away from us. The mayor is also... What, what the crap? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> the mayor is the Scorpion King. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my my streetwise ability. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the fountain is right here. That's a fountain. Yay! All right. I said, is it a pretty fountain? It is not entirely great, but it's also not bad. Okay. Does it oh. shoot draw me a picture later? later? Do you really want me to draw you a picture later? If you want, yeah. What's uh, I if, need the visual. What is the right. significance? Let's go into but that not, later. But not right I'm now. Cause cause we're like... Why are you in the mayor's office? Because I want to talk to him about the animal attacks. So whatever's happening out around the wild attacks. 
Oh, wild. okay. So wild cats. <laughs> wild <here>. cats. <laughs> um, okay, so I, uh, it's Steph. I knock on the door. It's um. This part of the mayor's office is uh, there isn't a door. It's think of it like uh, kind of like an open mall of sorts. Um, I don't know how to describe this. Hang on. Outdoor mall. So uh, you, you have yeah yeah. So you have like a, a large entrance that's got a lot of foot traffic of folks going in and out. Um, and, but then inside, um, then you have individual uh, closed doors, and then um, uh, and then in it. Uh, is your foyer uh, and with steps that lead up to um, which you can like okay that's definitely the mayor's office so at least the building itself you can walk into um, there is not so much commerce as like bureaucratical stuff I'm sure is going on and people that you see that are uh, they, they look more like um, official type folks not like the folks you see in the market or <laughs> in the smithing like district ourselves. like ourselves yes um Oh my! Uh, I actually think it's my s my uh, server that's lagging. I just saw red bars. Yeah, yeah. you're you've been uh, kind of choppy a bit. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, except for the good stuff. Um, <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so the picture is not skipping. <laughs> um, right. And uh, uh, you don't even have to approach the the mayor's door to open it. Um, they calmly open. Uh, you can see someone who is, is definitely dressed uh, that you could like, okay, this person must be someone really important, if not the mayor. Um, and he's flocked with, uh, with three people, uh, kind of like an entourage of sorts, um, with their scrolls and, and quills, and they're just chatting with them and taking notes. And they stop at the base of the steps, and they have this interesting conversation. Do you approach them? I approach them. Okay. So uh, as you approach, um, one of them seems to kind of take notice. Uh, the entourage, not the mayor uh, um, himself, so it is a him. Um, just that Tolado was just like, hey, hey, he, she, doesn't matter. Um, so uh, 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 one of them takes notice, uh, not in anyone particular except for Jinx, and just has this kind of like look of like confusion and like, why? Why does my? Why does it feel like I'm getting goosebumps? Uh, kind of thing, um, and uh, uh, and he kind of turns to me. He's like, uh, "Mayor," and the mayor's like, "Yes." Oh, and he sees then the five of you approaching. Uh, one of you on a mount. <laughs> from his perspective, he's like, "Oh." What? I brought my mount into the building. Well, I don't know. Did you? You didn't, you didn't say you didn't. He's not really potty trained. I don't think that's a good idea. So you can leave him out. That's fine. Yeah, I left him outside. The okay. only person that said they went inside was Remy. I right. mean, Zill. Oh, I was. I thought you were all going in there. Zill, was it just you going in there? I'm sorry. I had this whole scene. Oh, no, I mean, he was going inside, and if you weren't immediately talking, I was going to say I would hop off my mount and go with him. Uh, what I caught was <laughs> Zill was going to knock on the mayor's door. Which is actually you have to go into the building first to do that. So we followed, I assume. Yeah, yeah. we. Followed. I'm not on my mount. I okay. left Mario outside. Okay, Mario's outside. The rest of you follow. So okay, so instead of there being a mount approaching, the mayor's perspective, he sees. Oh, okay. There's a group of adventurers. Like, uh, yes, adventurers. Can I help you? And and um, uh. You, I mean, silent you especially, you would have all noticed that there were kind of uh, a couple of guards posted inside the foyer um, as well, but they're not entirely jumpy or anything. They're just like, okay, these people are coming in. Sort of deal. So anyway, yeah. So he addresses you. Hello, uh, my name is Zill. We're some travelers. Uh, we have a matter to discuss with you. Um, would you like to do it in private or is this okay? I'm sure we can discuss any matter in the open. Um, but first, let me introduce myself. I am Mayor Taduthi Lev, uh, Mayor of uh, Hershire. Um, welcome to our town. What is this concern that you would like to address? Thank you. Oh, That's and so to do, I should probably say what who Taduthi looks like. Taduthi um, is uh, remnant, large, larger, somewhat remnant guy, white fur. Um, and uh, you couldn't tell if he has stripes or spots. You just see it from his paws, because otherwise he's dressed up. Um, 
Yeah, and he, and he holds himself up, upright. He looks like he can uh, he could fight if he needed to, but he's not carrying any weapons on him, uh, from what you can discern. Um, his colleagues, I'm just king. his colleagues are a mix of races. You have one that's a Talato. The one that was uneasy was a Kaltoran, Jinx. Um, the one that was uneasy towards you was a Kaltoran, um, and the other one is also a Kaltoran. Um, so if it's fine to discuss here, then the matter we want to talk about is why. The town seems to be uneasy. Now, we heard word that there were some wild animals, mainly a bigger beast, attacking every now and then. Is this true? People speculated it to be potentially a rumor. And I figured you would know the most. Well... Sorry, we figured. We are under constant threat from the creatures of the mm -hmm. wild uh, that do come after our farms and food. They have yet to attack our... Uh, our city itself um, so we've added some additional guards which I've certainly seen on your way into our town um, to, to protect our, uh, our farmhands and other uh, workers that are uh, helping keep this uh, fair town uh, uh, quite running wow I totally brain farted and I <laughs> don't know where <laughs> I was going with that dialogue um, <clears throat> and uh, however and he kind of leans in a little bit, like as if it was a secret, but he's not really trying to hide it. He's just giving this a, like this look of concern. He's just like, there have been rumors, and while I have not heard it firsthand, of a great beast bellowing in the mountains. Some say it may even be a dragon. A dragon? Yeah. And we're going to end it there for tonight. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, well, then, that being said, before anybody leaves... A dragon? Uh, <laughs> it gives, like, that... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so, uh, so, all right. So, um, we're going to end it there. I know you have other things. We can cover it uh, offline. Um, I want to try to end on time, so it's two minutes early. But if we go into anything out of the dialogue, it's going to go over. I guarantee it. Um, so, we'll That's continue that next true. week. Yeah. <laughs> um, I do want to say something before everybody leaves. Okay. Not so, offline. all right, slow down. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> just want to say thanks to everyone again for joining. I thought this was a lot of fun, uh, getting a lot more role playing in there. Um, some realistic descriptions of how the town works and what Smiths eat. Um, yeah. I think was uh, oh my God. was Freaking was some great world building there um, for me. So, uh, looking forward to winning the award this year. Um, <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and he's a real thing. He's, he's now, uh, Algar is, is a thing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with names. I think that's been uh, pretty cool. I think what you've all learned so far is that uh, there is a threat on this town um, that this rumor kind of, and it, it, there's a rumor going around. He hasn't personally heard it, but that there's a dragon in the mountains. Um, and uh, that's got, uh, that kind of ties in with how uh, Morella, um, like, oh, okay, that explains why everyone's being really uneasy. But it doesn't seem like that's proven either. Um, so next week, wait, do we have a next week? Don't remember. Uh, next week, the twenty-first. I think I'll we're. Check uh, my calendar. I think we're good until the twenty-eighth. The twenty-eighth is when Colleen and I are going to be celebrating our um, yeah fiftieth anniversary. Or yeah, how? and then I'm 50th gone the weekend after with the after crap. That. How old do you think we are? <laughs> I don't it's know. It's our ninth anniversary. Ninth Jeez, anniversary. That's a good way to get yourself person. the chicken to calling your wife older. Well, to be fair, I feel like I've spent a glorious lifetime with my wife. I'm looking forward to another lifetime more. Well, I hope that's Aww. a good thing. Um, I mean, I guess it is because you're looking forward to instead of. <laughs> Desperately attractive. It feels babe. like it's been a million years. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fifty years. Get me out of here. I'm the bird. It's been fifty years. And I can still <laughs> smell the fresh paint. <laughs> um so uh oh and uh and then another reminder just keep in mind um that we're gonna after we level up again level four um we're gonna do both a retro and we're going to increase the amount of sessions before we level up again uh from three mm -hmm. to five um the thing to keep in mind is whether you want to do that retro you don't have to i think all your characters are in great shape um but especially for you marilla there might be opportunities to go well let me change some things around here um, and uh, if not you have yet. anything, I not still yet. have to get that other knowledge point. <laughs> yeah, w yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's fine. We'll work on that. Yeah. Jeez. So have a good night, everyone, and then uh, just know that 
Zoe wanted to talk to us before we all left, so I just wanted to say, make sure you update your uh, one free spare time point every session. Oh okay. yeah, I'm uh, supposed to do that checklist. I, I, never did it. That. I never did the checklist. Yeah, it's a good call. Make sure you have plus one spare time points, everyone. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.